Lennox Mall. We got uh, Javon coming at you from Javon Music. We have a, a lady in the house and uh, a potential stylist right here, and uh, we are building a great relationship. Um, her name is Lisa. Lisa, why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself? And, uh, I'm Lisa Jones, originally from the FTL, but it's all good. ATL has been my home for 10 years, and I've met a bunch of great people since I've been here. I love the environment. I love the vibe of the city, and I love this guy right here. <laughs> um, you must tell us a little bit how you found out about our Look at my hair. It's like I said. It's like I said. I was looking at MTV. I was looking at the show, as everybody know, Diddy had a hot show. They had a hot show out called Making a Band. It was season three, episode six. It was the dawn scene with Q, and we're playing by the pool and everything, and all of a sudden, I hear the melody to this amazing tune. Started off with the melody, and then all of a sudden, I hear the first piece of lyrics. It was, what, is, what was it? It seemed like yesterday. And that was it. They didn't play anything else. So for four weeks, four weeks, I'm all back on the internet. I'm all at the cable looking at it like, God, where's that episode? Who sang that song? I'm looking at the bottom and everything. I had to search on the internet. I had to look. I had to watch that show in rotation, in rerun rotation for four weeks before I figured out it was your prime. And the song was called Beautiful. I'm all on the internet. I'm all on YouTube. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're prime. You're prime. You're prime. God. I didn't know anything about him. All I heard was that little piece of melody in those what, three or four words to the lyric. And I'm all on the internet. And I got to YouTube and I found the audio piece that played the song out. I actually, and this is a true story, I Googled this man. I emailed him on YouTube and said, Man, where are you? Are you local? I'm in Atlanta. I wasn't even trying to come at him on the stylist. I'm straight. Groovy fan. Number one fan from the get-go. I said, man, I got to know what city you're in. I got to see you live. He emailed me back. I was really surprised. You remember that? He emailed me back. I said, you, you got to tell me where is your next performance? When is your next show? He emailed me his whole itinerary for like the next two months or so. See, so, 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 so potential crazy. fans and people, artists really do stay in touch with the fans. They keep us going. That's true. Because it's very That's important true. that you give back to your fans and you pay attention to you, listen to their wants, their needs, and, you know, and their admiration about music and life and journey. You have to listen to the ladies. This is my mark right here. So I'm totally listening to this system. I'm over here with you. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about this guy. That song, that song was just, just, just so amazing. It was so much emotion and passion and poetry in that song. I said, I gotta know who this guy is. And I played that song. In fact, once I, once I got it on YouTube, I said, I gotta get that song. I gotta figure out where I can buy this song. So from making a band to YouTube, I said, I gotta find the song. So I'm all on iTunes now. I found the song. I found the song. I immediately purchased it on iTunes, and then it showed me a face. And then by then, I knew he was local. Some spark went off in my head. I said, I'm going to be working with him one day. I knew that then. I knew the minute I got the song. And this is the year fast forward. I'm at a movie premiere supporting a friend who has just started in a movie, an independent project. And everybody was pretty much ready to go. And this little guy comes out, and I hear that melody again. I'm like, oh my God, that's the cry. I'm looking around, girl, it seems like, yes, I'm all like this. I'm all like this, I'm all like this. Like, oh my God, I got to meet him. I got to meet him. When you truly believe in somebody, just, just this force takes over. I don't know what gave me the confidence and the courage to come up to you. I was so nervous. But I knew I had to meet you. I had been trying to figure out who you were for two years. And that's the truth. You know that just by the proof of a YouTube email. You know by the, the iTunes. I still have it in. I even showed it to him the night I met him. I said, I have your song. I have your song. I'm a stylist. How are you doing? How are you doing? And that's where we are today. Oh, that's a blessing, y'all.
So let me ask you this, since we're a big part of the family, now that you got to meet this guy in person, what is his energy like? I mean, is it all that you do? His energy is amazing. He's almost like my kid brother already. Already. So, oh, man, I appreciate you so, so much. That, honestly, that's cool right there. That, that's great. Man, it's going to be on YouTube, so we look forward to it. You got to be on YouTube tomorrow. And this is just one piece of beautiful energy I'm sitting right there. So, uh, that's what I do. So uh, we're going to be all these. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure to have you as a friend, as a fan, and now we know each other. We're going to keep this relationship going strong. Uh, from, from us to you all, uh, God you bless. You stay tuned. It's Grammys. Grammys. Oh, yeah. Actually, we're getting fitted for the Grammys right now. Grammys 2010. Your boy's January 6th. Beautiful is the song. They got us in there. We're starting the year off right. Positive energy. Positive energy, because we're going to win and win. 2016. Uh, but much love, y'all. Just brought me